Namaskar. Welcome to Dallas Mirror. You're watching it on Desi Plaza TV in collaboration with Radio Karishma. I'm your host, Karishma Himat Singhani. In Dallas Mirror, we always bring you one achiever from DFW Metroplex who has impacted the society with their powerful work. And today, we have one such achiever in our studios. And her name is Tripti Bhatnagar. Tripti Bhatnagar is a co-founder of IndieMeme.org. She believes in her passion for cinema, and she believes that cinema can change the society. So let's welcome Tripti Bhatnagar. Hi Tripti, welcome to the studio of Desi Plaza TV, and thank you so much for giving us your time. Uh, thank you, Karishma. Thank you so much for having me here and to Desi Plaza TV for uh, giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Well, first of all, I would ask for the benefit of our viewers, uh, please tell us more about yourself, your background, when did you come to Dallas, and how did you all get into this particular field. I know uh, initially you have had different careers like right from finance to marketing to public relationship <laughs> and a whole lot of other things. But of course we know you as co-founder of Indie Meme, someone who brings really good cinema to the society. So please tell us more about yourself. Right, as you said, um, I think uh, I'm the kind of person who never could uh, keep attention to one thing. So mm -hmm. maybe I have ADD, who knows, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. <laughs> I have done uh, psychology honors um, along with, uh, um, you know, masters in uh, marketing and finance uh, mm -hmm. MBA. And then I have transitioned through many different jobs from finance to business to, mm -hmm. um, uh, to being a radio jockey. Wow. And uh, yeah, so there, there have been multiple phases of my career and all this while managing the home front. Uh, so when we came to the US, it's about uh, it's about 15 years since we've been here, wow. okay. um, out of which about uh, 12 have been in Dallas. So it was a management like all of us do between home and work and trying to uh, kind of fit in both together while still keeping your brain cells working. So, uh, so that's how our you know, entire uh, stay has been there. To come to Indie Meme, mm -hmm. um, I was very fortunate enough to meet uh, Alka Bhanot, who's a, a brilliant, uh, uh, you know, she had an initiative to show independent cinema mm -hmm. uh, from India. And, uh, in, and she started in Austin. So when we met up, uh, this was, you know, in its nascent stage and mm -hmm. she was uh, starting to do the screenings and everything mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, slowly and steadily we realized there was, a, uh, th there was a need in the society to kind of bring a parallel, meaningful, uh, socially relevant, relevant cinema and provide a platform for people to indulge in dialogues. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, thodi, uh, kare uske mein, and there were different organizations that started tying in together mm -hmm. uh, who would uh, actually have uh, take this entire uh, dialogue into an action mode. So, you know, people who are working in these different fields started to get involved and uh, we started to see a lot of networking happening. So, actual work started to begin. Mm -hmm. And it really gave us a lot of encouragement and the community gave us a lot of support. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's how where we are today. It's been uh, three and a half years uh, since we've been doing this. Well, believe me, it all sounds very easy, but I know it's not very easy. <laughs> Because, you know, we are a handful of people here. At the same time, there's a lot of other competition, you know, too many people in this particular field. But I remember when you started, uh -huh. as you said, um, you were amongst the first ones who started something like this. So I'm sure you must have gone through some struggles, some experience. Right. Would you like to share it with us? I mean, Absolutely, it's purely yeah. with the benefit, you know, whoever <laughs> is listening mm -hmm. and has some aspirations like in your field, mm -hmm. they might just learn something. <laughs> right. Um, so when we started Karishma, you're very right, there was really, uh, there was nobody who was doing this, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there were of course Bollywood uh, cinema which is there, which is mm -hmm. a very huge part of entertainment mm -hmm. of our entire yes. South Asian culture. Yeah. Uh, that was there but, uh, so it was for us, I think it was also educating and reaching out to the market mm -hmm. uh, to really um, kind of find the people who were interested in something which was very niche. And uh, we also got people who discouraged us and said that, oh, this mm -hmm. is, um, you know, how many handful of people will come and watch. Yes. But we never let that get, get into the way of doing what we were doing because yes. we believed in it. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, so I guess that's, <laughs> yeah. that's where we are. So um, Indie Meme um, started three and a half years ago, as right. you said. 
But how has it grown? I mean, you know, uh, you must have started with something small, I suppose, mm -hmm. you know, one or two movies. And now it's like you're bringing a lot of movies throughout the year it's happening. Right. So tell us how has been the growth and how has been the journey so far? And now uh, how, how big is the organization and what uh -huh. is the goal for the ultimate goal for the organization? How do you see in the meme? from now mm -hmm. down the line Going five further. years yeah. okay so um so when we started uh, as i said it was a very small you know one event kind of a, a deal and uh, and uh -huh. we moved on from there to doing different uh, mm -hmm. screenings mm -hmm. uh, last year we organized our first uh, indie meme film festival okay and uh, that festival was a three day long south asian affair with you know films we had filmmakers we had uh, mm -hmm. events that were happening Absolutely. we had different local performers and the first uh, festival was in austin uh, we got uh, an award for our first festival from the Austin yes. Chronicles. Uh, so we are considered the best uh, international passport uh, by the critics, uh, So, we, which is a huge honor to be yes. a first year festival and yes. get that. So we are really proud of it and um, our organization, we are a non-profit, we are an independent 501c3 non-profit and it's totally run by volunteer board of directors and volunteers. Mm -hmm. So we are 100% dependent on, on them. Um, in today's date, we have uh, we are surviving because of our uh, because people have invested in us. Uh -huh. They have invested not only in terms of uh, you know monetary support that they provide to us, but also in terms of their time, in uh, in terms of giving us encouragement, in terms of ideas. So we are very interactive community organization and sharing your passion, of course. Yes. Absolutely, yes. yes. And they are all there for the screenings, and anybody you know any single time can yes. write to us and share what they think mm -hmm. we should be doing and we should not be. So in in that sense, we are a very open. Mm -hmm. um, community organization yes. where, where we are developing with the community absolutely and, and their response to us mm -hmm. yeah so um, here I would like before I talk more about the film festival mm -hmm. here I would like to ask you that um, a lot of nonprofit organizations who are here and they are working for different causes you know right. and most of the, the the community as I know here they like to help their, com their their original country where they come from. Mm -hmm. All South Asians do that, right. you know, like we have our own country in our heart whenever wherever we go. Mm -hmm. So um, this, um, anybody who is thinking of helping um, the, their own country, they have different causes to support, to donate into. And the entertainment and the movie comes absolutely last mm -hmm. in our mind that, you know, how can, you know, what was your uh, thinking uh, in that direction? You know, how do you find that, you know, uh, movies, as I was saying, that you really believe that movies can make an impact in the society. Uh -huh. So how do you explain this to your fellow community people okay. that, you know, how relevant and how important it is to invest into, you know, these kind of endeavors? Right. You know. Okay, that's a very interesting, very multifaceted uh, <laughs> okay. question. Uh, so the first thing is uh, cinema as a messaging medium. All uh -huh. right. Uh, now we all have grown up in. Uh, we are from India, so we've grown up in India, watched Bollywood throughout our lives, yes. um, and and really see the kind of you know the fashion, the style, the kind of following that that yes. happens as yes. as a result of the cinema is big. Mm -hmm. Now having said that, independent cinema has come a long way from where it was when we were in India. Mm -hmm. Uh, the quality and the messaging has become extremely diverse mm -hmm. and it has mm -hmm. become very brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, more and more so now that bigger production houses are realizing how important this cinema yes, is. Absolutely. Um, it is important not only from an art perspective mm -hmm. of keeping it alive, yes. but also extremely important in terms of messaging. So, for instance, Indimim has done films. Uh, that relate to illegal organ trade from sex tra trafficking, wow, okay. uh, child abuse mm -hmm. um, and uh, po of course the poverty is, is, is a big part of it all because mm -hmm, un mm -hmm. you know and we've done films on environment. Yes. Uh, so these messages when you are bringing through these kinds of films, mm -hmm. they really enable you to have a platform and initiate a discussion. Yes. So, you know, from just drawing from the story or drawing from, uh, mm -hmm. from how the film was made, mm -hmm. uh, the audience can actually start to interact bases on, uh, yes. or based on that yes. and then, you know, the discussion go further and further mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Now, 
as you mentioned, we all have in our heart to go back to, you know, help people at home. Yes. As much as important that is, we also believe that it's important that now we we are here, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we all have been here for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So you, when you're helping and uh, you're influencing your immediate environment, okay, that becomes critical as well. Yes. And a lot of times the issues that we are dealing with um, are very, very universal in nature. Now, for instance, if you take uh, sex trafficking, yes. it's not that sort of India may hota hai, ya sort of underdeveloped countries may hota hai, ya Thailand may hota hai. It is as much rampant in US, Correct. Uh, right in our neighborhood from Houston, the corridor, uh, as it is in India. Yeah. So many a times these organizations, when they interact with each other, there is a lot of exchange of information. There is a lot of Absolutely. exchange of solutions that might work from one end to the other end. Absolutely. Right? So environment and, challenge. Uh, and right. the movies like the in your film festivals or your know, special screenings also I have seen, uh, you have uh, showcased a lot of documentaries. Right. Those documentaries can be really informative you know, as far as, you know, people in, in suppose the Indians who are living here mm -hmm. and for so many years, they don't know exactly, you know, what's yeah. that what is going on. Right. And right. these movies and documentaries and shorts and features, they are like, you know, right. Uh, opening up uh, the horizon, basically, you know, absolutely you know. Yes. So it's been absolutely great. But then, you know, I have seen your movies and I have seen um, the last the festival film festival that you did. It was absolutely great this year you are getting ready for another one uh -huh. <laughs> tell us how different is going to be and how bigger is going to oh, be oh wow we are super excited uh -huh. about it um, yes we um, uh, so again we are having the other the next festival the mm -hmm. second festival in mm -hmm. austin uh, april 20th to 23rd mm -hmm. so you know all our dallas friends and in and around mm -hmm. do plan mm -hmm. to uh, come and visit us mm -hmm. already the festival has grown from uh, three to four days Mm -hmm. um, so we have a preview day mm -hmm. added in the festival that is going to have an exclusive uh, uh, fantastic collection uh, set of films that mm -hmm. we have planned for it. And uh, of course our curation is still on and uh, we are almost coming to an end and we'll be soon announcing the lineup uh, for us. Yeah. yeah. I would also like to know how have you involved the, the community in this particular your movement, you know you started with a small organization how big it is now and who all are uh, involved in in this uh, indimeme.org okay so like i said our uh, uh, you know the investment really is from the community so uh -huh. they ha they are our members mm -hmm. there are our, they are our volunteers mm -hmm. uh, they are the people who network on behalf of indimeme mm -hmm. to have other people mm -hmm. who are involved in, in, mm -hmm. in within the you know within the individual screenings as well as the the film festival uh -huh. that we do so it's an ongoing movement and anybody who comes in and thinks that oh this is a film that needs to be shown i mean we have so many of our audience who just send emails to us and say okay this is something mm -hmm. that we need to talk about mm -hmm. and uh, so one por one part mm -hmm. is the film part of it and then uh, we have local organizations like center of relationship is one in austin that mm -hmm. we have worked a lot mm -hmm. with we have worked with chetna mm -hmm. over here so all those folks are really invested because the the films and the messaging and the networking ties them all in yes. and with every screening we try to have like a member mixer wherein people can get together mm -hmm. and when the filmmakers come in we need we have uh, interactions with them so they can have uh, you know direct direct question and answer sessions with the audience who are there absolutely so um, yeah so it's it's pretty much involving the whole community at at, at all the different levels yes so you being a, a women organization very women centric uh -huh. you know i would <laughs> like to talk more about that but after a short break sure we'll be back after a short break stay with us <laughs> 